21 days into November and already 460 car break-ins. A reality check for holiday shoppers. It is concerning, yes. Just over the weekend, police were called to the Keystone and Castleton shopping areas for seven break-ins. Thieves smashing car windows, the 86th 82nd Street Corridor, a popular target during the holidays. You should be able to go out and uh, take care of your business and get along with everybody else, and obviously there shouldn't be any of this going on. To protect himself, Daniel Peeler uses this cover to hide items in his trunk. If I've got a laptop in there that I don't want stolen, you know, or an iPad or whatever, uh, of course it'll help. They won't be able to see it. A useful tactic that IMPD says would hinder someone from breaking in. If you see a briefcase, one would assume you don't know the contents of that bag, but you want to check it out. Even loose change. Police say thieves will go car to car, see if the door is unlocked, and check for spare keys inside or hidden outside the car. They say to prevent this, try parking in garages or well-lit areas. Lock your cars, um, any valuables, take them away, um, put them in the trunk or just put them in the home. Don't leave anything in, in of value. And then finally, don't idle your vehicles. They're bad for your cars, but more importantly, you're setting yourself up for vehicular theft as well. As shopping season picks up, officers ask that you report crimes when they happen so law enforcement can be made aware of an issue in an area. Stephanie Wade. RTV6.